Nahomi Selby GB's daughter making this short film about my father. GB came to New Zealand in uh, 2009 and lived with me for 9 years. Then in early 2018 he had a severe case of vertigo and needed to be hospitalized. After that he moved to this rest home. This recording of GB playing the piano was taken on his first day here in May 2018. The piano is at one end of the building and his room is at the other end. So this was the first and last time he touched that piano. You can see us um, crossing over to the other end along that long hallway. Uh, we were having a funny conversation that day where he was telling me that at the hospital they taught him to take long steps instead of shuffling with the short steps. short step na abhi ko ha long step na ah <laughs> uh, you may be interested to know how i face my present state of old age i have many of the weaknesses common to anyone of my age but i am coping successfully and have the confidence that i will be given grace and strength till the end in this the major reason for my success is my strong faith in god and in the bible my second reason is probably my daughter nahomi selvi the only child i had by god's grace after 11 years of my married life nahomi has managed to admit me in the rest home where i am given the care i need at this stage and she visits me every day the residents of this home are elderly and many of them are weak and disabled mobility is a problem for most of us i use a walker to help me walk we are all encouraged to be as independent and mo- mobile as possible we also help each other the residents here think i am an interesting person for a number of reasons for one i am an indian secondly i am a musician but what they find most interesting is that i do not fritter away any time watching tv i do not need activities to occupy myself i have one occupation and that is to read the bible continuously as i mentioned before the reason behind my success in finding meaning even in old age is my faith i spend many hours reading the bible not because i want any special blessing from god or anything like that i read because i have developed a real taste for it i find great pleasure in what i read and god speaks to me through the scriptures the bible is a very special book you know Uh, that has a librarian books were my world the bible by itself is a library of 66 books in two volumes the first volume has 39 books and is known as the old testament the second volume has the remaining 27 books and is known as the new testament these 66 books were written by 40 different authors who lived in different periods of history over a duration of 1600 years and these men who wrote were all very different from one another some were kings some were scholars one was a physician but then some were very ordinary people like fishermen shepherds etc so all these people wrote their various books of the bible independently and you can see the personalities and styles of these people in their writings 
And yet, in another sense, the Bible, when it is put together, reads like it has a single author. This is nothing short of miracle. The Bible's own explanation for this phenomenon is that these people wrote as they were moved by the Spirit of God. This is just one of the many amazing things about this book, Bible. Another would be the fact that the Bible records hundreds of prophecies foretelling events into the future, not vague prophecies, but very detailed prophecies. And these prophecies have literally taken place and these are well documented. Then you can look at the archaeological finds and so on. But the most amazing part about the book is the text itself. The actual content, once you get a taste for it, nothing else compares with it. You would have heard what the main message of the Bible is. If I have to tell it to you in one minute, it is like this. God made man and woman in his image to live in a perfect world. Thus the Holy God enjoyed a perfect relationship with a perfect mankind. But then man and woman sinned. They could no longer stand before a holy God and were banished from God's presence. God is perfectly holy and so sin had to be punished. The wages of sin is death. So man died spiritually and man also died physically. But this perfectly holy God is also perfectly loving. So God came among us himself as an apatharam, as Jesus. He was born just to die for us. Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. The Bible says so. So he went willingly to the cross, taking the sin of mankind on himself. There God the Father directed his holy anger against his own son. So Jesus became the Prayasitam to appease God's anger against sin. This way of salvation is open for all those who would go to him in faith. We cannot work out our way back to God. God had to reach out to us and make a way and he has done that through Jesus. From uh, 1968 to 1973, G.B. worked as a librarian in uh, IIM Calcutta. Then at the end of 1973, we moved to Bangalore. GB was to set up the IIM Bangalore library. Uh, I was eight years old at the time and continued my schooling in Baldwin Girls in uh, Richmond Road. Every afternoon after school, I would walk to the Langford Road premises, which I knew so well. Uh, as a child, I had uh, free access everywhere and was welcome, even in Director Ramsamy's office. Director or Pune, uh, everyone was the same to me and everyone was friendly. Uh, my memories of that period uh, are only of uh, chatter and sunshine. Uh, I also remember a huge uh, silver oak tree in that compound and its amazingly beautiful seeds that were on the ground underneath it. As the library grew, uh, GB's office moved to a building in Lavelle Road. Uh, I remember that office too. Uh, what was really cool about that place was that uh, in the ground floor was a huge computer that occupied an entire room uh, and that computer used punch cards. If I remember right, that computer belonged to IIMB but uh, it was not connected with the library. 
probably uh, it was for payroll etc uh, i then remember the excitement when the new campus was being developed so uh, this is the introduction um, and we are now going to the rest home uh, to have a look at uh, some old uh, iim uh, bangalore photographs uh, with gb if we had uh, done this exercise one year ago uh, gb would have been able to tell us much more about the photos uh, as of now i do not expect him to remember much but let's see okay so this is an album mm. about your professional career mm. huh mm. Do you remember that you had an album like this? Mm. Okay, so so it starts with uh, pre IIM things. Mm. Uh, I think IIM starts here, and it starts. You don't seem to have any pictures of IIM Calcutta. Mm. It is starting with Bangalore. Bangalore. Uh, so mm. this is the Langford Road uh, building. Building. Yes. Hmm. Uh. Do you remember this? Uh, this is the what is this occasion? This is the. It says it is the inauguration. Uh, of it's library, a great moment. Uh, uh, historically, historically, from the point of view of the institution, and for me too, uh, inauguration. The it is the the director standing. Okay. The, and then. Then again same. Again, this is director. Okay. Mm. Director Ram Sami. Mm, Ram Sami. And here it is. Here is your whole staff of that at that point in time. At that point of time. Mm. Huh? Mm. I can also recognize some people. Can you recognize anyone? I can recognize. Um, this is mm. Teresa. Mm, Teresa, isn't it? Ah, then I can see you. I can mm. see Subhadra. Mm -hmm. uh, these names I've forgotten. I remember all of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then I can see Chikkamalaya here. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Uh, this is the new campus. New campus. Uh, so. Um, So then, so this chief, is this is again N S Ramsamy. N S Ramsamy, and he did uh, uh, a tremendous, uh, um, tremendous uh, role mm. in in getting this building mm. by contacting the then government uh, mm. and other things. Uh, mm. So it was uh, his. Uh, Very important uh, role mm. uh, he played in that. Uh, okay. And then. So here, uh, here you are all walking. No. Again, uh, he is here, and mm. then there is uh, Chikmalaya again. again. You are here. So this is all. I think the inauguration of yes, the yes. newly built uh, oh, campus and new library. Mm. So then we will turn. This is the visit of yes, Mr. Abid Hussain, chairman of the board of governors, visiting the library of IIM Bangalore. New campus. New campus. He was uh, originally uh, commerce secretary of government of India. Then he took over as uh, chairman. Mm. Later he left for the. He was as the ambassador for India, mm. so he was a very important uh, guy. Mm. Um, so this is here. See, you had a beard at that time. Yes, yes. Uh, mm. That was the time you, uh, yes. the period you had a beard. Mm. Yes. Uh, and then there is uh, everybody is enjoying some food. Mm. Probably it looks like a gulab jamun to me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. Then this you can read what is there. The chief librarian has uh, professional tasks like uh, 
conducting seminars, meeting visitors to the library, and the like. Okay, so that is some yeah. picture. Of picture is like that. Uh -huh. And here is some some seminar or something you are doing. Mm. Uh, so you don't. This is probably a seminar mm. being organized here. Mm. And uh, I am yeah, reading the seminar. Mm, that's true. And then mm. some food time. Yes. Then this is uh, something else. This is an extra. You know, the theological college, college library, library. In uh, you. chairperson in one of their seminars. Okay. This uh, is something yes. outside IIM oh, that yes. you had been called to. Yes. Do. Okay. And then we are coming to your retirement. Um, of function, function uh. yes. So um, this is now director mm, Phillips. Mm, mm, the, yeah, the, the director new director. Mm. Yes. And mm. again, you see Chikmalaya. Mm. I can see Valletcha. Valletcha. Good. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, you remember. Uh, I, I had forgotten, but. I uh, remember a little bit. Uh, mm. This is Teresa. He, mm. She is speaking. Mm. Um, Somebody else, I don't remember her name, she is speaking also. Mm. Then Chikramalaya, he is giving a speech. Mm. Then mm. again, Professor Valecha. Valecha. I don't know. Oh, this must be the same day mm. and the people in the audience. Mm. This is uh, this Teresa. 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 Ah. Mm. So, some kind of... Uh, this is for I think. Eh? Yes. And here mm. you are, they are giving you a tray of something. Yes. Where you have a garland. Yes. Mm? Yes. Then you are giving a speech. Mm. Mm? Mm. And uh, Professor Phillips is enjoying your speech. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. Mm. And then he is speaking. Uh, this is Philip. Yes, he is speaking. Mm. Then, so many photographs of one occasion, huh? mm. and then you are talking to him. Mm. <laughs> and then you are still talking to him, mm. and then everyone is having some food. Mm. Yes. And then you are still talking to him, mm. and everybody is having tea. Yes. <laughs> so it must have been a fun place, I am. <laughs> then there is more of. It's all the same thing, mm. people talking, mm. and I think this may be the last time mm. you sat in your office. Yes. Mm? Mm. And you have the tray, and people come to see you. Mm. And that is mm. you and Chikmalaya. This is Chikmalaya. Yeah. Mm. You want to read that? Seated are some of the faculty members and the director, Professor J. Philip. Mm. The rest are my library staff, including two deputy librarians, two assistant librarians, and a, a host, host of, of uh, other technical staff. Okay, so that is the mm. last, that ends the last of your yes, career. Uh, career photograph. Mm. Everyone born in this earth is born only to die sooner or later because of sin. That is how I too was born 92 years ago. But through faith in Jesus, the Bible promises that I am forgiven of all my sins and that I will be living forever. Death for me will be a case of stooping to conquer. Death will open up for me the way to life. So when I cross over one of these days, when I close my eyes here, I will open them on the other side. This hope is 
for all those who make use of the Raya Chittam. So it is very important. This is good news and is available for all, rich and poor, North Indian, South Indian, European, anyone for that matter. So that is how I can be happy in my weaknesses. For me, the best is yet to come. Thank you.